These are J. Cole's Puma RS Dreamer. Let's go! What's up LNS fam, Manuel here and welcome to another video of Lifestyles and Sneakers. Today guys, we're gonna have a closer look at these sneakers. These are again the Puma RS Dreamer by J. Cole. So guys, take a look closer at these sneakers. These are really, 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 really nice. I mean, in my opinion, this is definitely one of the best basketball sneakers released by Puma. And I think those sneakers are very, very underrated. Now, I'm very, very excited to have these sneakers, although I was kind of disappointed when I received this after a month when I ordered it through StockX because I was expecting a different box. As you can see, this is just your regular Puma box and, and it's not the same box that I saw from other videos that comes with this Puma RS Dreamer. However, it's fine because at the end of the day, I bought the sneakers, not the box. Well, speaking of the sneakers, this is again the RS Dreamer. I'm not sure what is the name of this particular colorway because there's a lot of uh, other colorways that they have released already, which you probably seen uh, if you're watching the NBA playoffs because uh, I think Kyle Kuzma, uh, Michael Porter Jr., Danny Green, and there's other more uh, NBA players that are wearing different colorways of these sneakers. Now let's check first the other colorways that they release for the RS Dreamers. So uh, first up that comes to my head are the Purple Heart, which is sort of like a Lakers colorway, which uh, Kyle Kuzma normally wears. And then after that, I think the Concrete Jungle, uh, they also release the Concrete Jungle. And they have the Mario 64 colorway, which is in red. And then there's another red colorway, which is called, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. When I was first looking at these sneakers before buying, I was thinking what colorway to pick. And uh, for me, I decided to, to pick or purchase this particular colorway because this is the OG colorway or the first colorway that they released for this particular pair. I'm actually contemplating of getting another colorway. I like the Mario Brothers colorway. I also like the Lakers colorway or the Purple Heart colorway. But uh, for now, I'll be settling with this one. Now let's have a closer look at these sneakers and see what is really special about these. The upper is made out of predominantly textile material that makes these sneakers a little bit lighter. I mean, honestly, it's not that light. I think the midfoot is very, very heavy. So um, that's why they have to compensate on the upper to make the upper a little bit more lighter so that it's not that heavy for basketball players. Now on top of the textile material, there's a lot of different materials that are um, sewed in to the textile material. Like for example, on this part, this area, this is a, sort of like a suede material uh, over the forefoot, the side of the forefoot. And, and then on the medial side over here, you have another patch of uh, suede material. Now on the lateral side, on the eyelets or the lace loops, you have another patch of the suede material. No. Now apart from that, on the heel area over here, there's a new buck material that they put with the Dreamer logo over there. Now on the forefoot over here, there is sort of like another patch of material, which is, I think this is new buck material, which is another or additional support uh, when you're playing basketball, especially when you drag your feet. Now, apart from those material, they have also this uh, rope over here or uh, sort of like a shoelace which is connected to the shoelaces over here so that when you tighten the sneakers, uh, you also feel the lockdown because it goes around to the heel of the sneakers. Now, apart from that, there are also fused materials or fused overlays that has 3M Reflective on it, especially this one, this one, and this one. And then, and then apart from those 3M materials, you also have 3M materials over here on the rope 
and then on the heel tab. Now let's move on to the midsole of the sneakers. So the midsole of the sneakers is uh, what they call Pro Foam. So this is the foam that they use for Puma basketball, which is, in my opinion, kind of heavy. It's like a wedge over here. So it's kind of, it's not as soft as Cushlot, although it is actually uh, pretty okay. I think it gives you uh, a little bit of bounce when you're wearing it. But what I like about these sneakers is the combination of colors that they put on the midsole. So over here you have this like uh, pinkish orange that is uh, really really bright. Then you have the yellow. Then over here you have the purple. And then here you have the mint colorway. And then another yellow on the bottom. And then on the medial side, you have a blue colorway over here. Now, what's interesting about these sneakers are the bottom. So as you can see, the bottom is not your typical uh, basketball outsole. So it's not your uh, normal herringbone pattern. This is sort of like a linear pattern, but the shape of it looks like a leaf. As you can see, I'm not sure if you could see. Now going back to the upper, the tongue is also in textile material and it has a pull tab over here which has a RSD or RS Dreamer. And then of course, as I showed you earlier, the Dreamer logo is over here. Now the sock liner is in black which is also in the same, uh, almost the same uh, textile material which is heavily padded. It has two waves, over one over here and then there's another one on the bottom to protect your ankles and heel. And then on the insole, unfortunately I couldn't take it out because it's glued in. Um, you have the Puma logo or Puma basketball over there and then the RS Dreamer on the side so well that's about it guys these are the puma rs dreamer by j cole i really really love how it looks guys if i mean it's kind of different from the other sneakers that we've been seeing from nike and adidas and, but just by looking at the aesthetics i think this is definitely one of the best designs or best looking basketball sneakers that was released this year and uh definitely this is a sneakers or a basketball sneakers that you could also wear uh, for lifestyle. Now guys, I think it's time to lace this up and show you how it looks on me. guys that's about it uh, I wore it with shorts and with joggers and it looks really really nice at least in my opinion let me know on the comment section down below if you dig this pair if you like it uh, only for basketball or if you like it both for basketball and for lifestyle wear going to the fit of the sneakers I think this is true to size uh, based on what I felt 
So I got a size 10.5. I am normally a size 10, but for basketball sneakers, I always get a 10.5. And for this one, this just fits right for me. Now, unfortunately, here in the Philippines, these sneakers are not yet available. And I'm hoping that uh, they will release some in the future. But uh, unfortunately, as of this moment, I haven't seen any stores here in the Philippines that are selling this. That's why I got my pair through StockX. And for you guys, if you're interested to get a pair of these Puma RS Dreamer, you could also order it through StockX. The price of these sneakers is not over $200, so you won't be paying any additional taxes. So if you really want to have a pair of these Puma RS Dreamers, then I would suggest to go and get it through StockX. Well guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the closer look at these sneakers. And of course, the on-feet review. Again, these are the Puma RS Dreamer.